Hi, my name is Ned, and in this video I want to show you how to build a web application in less than 5 minutes. Building a web application nowadays is a lot easier than before thanks to a handful of free development tools that are available to us. In this video we're going to build a survey reporting application using a database platform called Caspio. Caspio will allow us to customize our survey form and be able to report on surveys using an interactive report with charts and some moderate calculations. If you'd like to build the same application in tandem with the video, click on the link in the description to set up your free Caspio account. Once you log in, you'll be taken to your home page of your Caspio platform. Click on the link at the top to set up a new application for your business or organization. You can begin building your application by importing data from various formats such as Excel, Access, XML, or you can begin building your application from scratch. Let's build it from scratch and let's give our application a name. We'll call it Survey Management. Once done, click on Finish. Let's open up this application container and in Caspio you're going to use these objects on the left hand side to construct your survey management application. Let's see how easy it is to get started. First thing we'll need to do is set up our database table with fields that's going to store all of the survey submissions. Click on New Table and let's list all the fields that we wish to collect. To save on time, I have already created all the needed fields for this database table, including survey ID to assign a unique value to each survey, date submitted so that we can track when the survey was submitted, name of the submitter, their email if that's what you wish to capture, and the survey questions that we plan on asking them. Notice that for my question, since I'm going to have five radio button options, I want to store their answer as a number ranging from 1 to 5, 1 being poor and 5 being excellent. You'll see in a minute how we configure that on the survey form. Let's save the table and call it Survey Submissions. Now let's build our survey form and link it to this database table. To do that, click on Data Pages and click on New at the top to launch Caspio's data page wizard. I'm not going to walk you through all the steps of building a form, but I will mention all the important configurations. Here we want to link our survey submission table by selecting it from the data source drop-down menu. This is how we link our table to our form. On the following screen you'll drag all the fields you'd like to include in the survey. And on the next screen you configure each one of your fields by selecting them on the left hand side and making configurations on the right side. To speed up on time I have already configured each one of my fields and as you can see I've turned my date field into a timestamp. I've made all of my fields required and I've turned my question fields into radio buttons with options for users to select. When done click on finish and to publish the survey click on the deploy link and choose from one of the four deployment methods that Caspio provides. You can embed this form into a web page by copying and pasting the following embed code or you can share this form by copying the URL. As soon as the users click on that link, they'll be taken to the survey. It's that simple. After you get a few submissions, you'll now be able to view those entries inside your database table. From here, you can download the data back to your computer if you need to do any further data manipulation. Caspio provides a lot more functionality than just data entry. Let's see how we can create a report that allows us to view this data using a chart and calculations. We'll need to create a new data page and this time instead of building a form to input data, we're going to build a report to output our survey results. Once again, I'm not going to walk you through all the details of building a report, but I will mention all the important and necessary configurations. We'll once again need to link our survey table to our report because that's where all the data resides. I'm going to build a search form and after choosing date as my search field, on the next screen I will configure my date range by selecting it as greater than or equal to and less than or equal to. Next I'm going to include all the desired fields in my results page and configure them as well if necessary. We'll then choose to configure the chart the way we want the data displayed. I'm going to do an average across all of my questions by first inserting additional serious options and changing the calculation to average. We'll also configure our X and Y axis to choose what and how we wish to plot the data. 
When done configuring the chart, you'll be able to make additional configurations on the following screens. Lastly, you'll have the ability to disable or enable the details view. Let's disable it and click on Finish. You can now deploy the report the same way as the submission form by either embedding it into a web page or if you just want to share the report with someone quickly, you can copy and paste the Caspio driven URL into the address bar. Now if you have some submissions in your table, which we do, you'll be able to view all of those submissions in a nicely displayed report. This is how easy it is to build a simple web app using Caspio. Caspio offers other plans with a lot more resources and features that can further be used to expand and polish up your applications. I hope you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe for any of the latest videos, tricks and tips on how to build web applications using Caspio. Thank you for watching and good luck building your apps.